we were on staff together back at Evansville. And we've maintained our relationship, kind of, I probably picked his brain a lot more than he picked mine, but uh, uh, just excited. I mean, it's, uh, you know, everything here has been first class, uh, just really impressed uh, all, uh, with the culture, you know, just, uh, you know, the, the young men that, that come in the program, you know, just, uh, you know, they want to be coached, they want to be good, they want to graduate. I think they're great ambassadors out in the community. Uh, so I just, I feel very fortunate to be a part of the program. Tell us a little bit about your experience in Italy. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't there very long. I, I had a family family emergency and had to come back. But just just watching, you know, the the, the game tapes uh, and really how the whole thing was put together. You know, you had it about six weeks, and you had some of the freshmen not getting there, but maybe three weeks, and then Tevin getting in there late, and then Clyde, you know, getting hurt about three or four days before we left. So I mean, there were a lot of things, and uh, but. Coach did a terrific job, and the staff did a terrific job of incorporating things and getting guys to to understand, you know, our system of play, both offensively and defensively. And then watching the guys grow over there. I mean, the overall experience is second to none. But you know, from a basketball standpoint, uh, confidence-wise, just watching it grow each and every game. You know, I mean, the, the the win over Finland was was terrific. I think that was a huge confidence, you know, boost. And then played pretty much every game, was a close game. So your ability to, to make plays, both offensively and defensively, when it means so much, I think that gives you a foundation as you go into the season this year that you can look back on and, and draw really good things from that experience. Yeah, you know, I just, I want to be a good teammate. That's number one. But I think just a different different view. You know, even though that I think we have similar backgrounds, you know, I can hopefully bring some some different ideas, some new ideas, some different ways to, to look at things. You know, I, I watch a lot of practice. I focus on our guys a lot, looking, you know, at fundamentals, uh, looking at details, mostly offensively, that uh, hopefully we can get better at watching other you know, programs and styles of play, both in the college and, and in the NBA ranks, just trying to, you know, suggest things. And, and it, you know, Coach is, is very, very cerebral basketball coach. Uh, and he, it's not, you know, he wants to do things, you know, one way all the time. You know, he's, he's open to change and to new ideas and just trying to present things to him that, that uh, maybe, maybe we think fits our current uh, roster personnel, uh, you know, those are the things that that hopefully I can I can bring to this program. Probably not. I mean, I think just just the experience. I think hopefully having somebody that's you know sat in the same chair and have had to make some of the same decisions uh, that I can bring that experience and and uh, it's I, I got a great job. I mean, you, you know, mine's it's pretty much all basketball. And again, watching, watching our guys, watching our system of play, watching others, and then communicating with coach, you know, with ideas that I have and the staff. Uh, but I would, I would, I would say probably more than anything, just, just the experience. Troy, you obviously watched a lot of basketball. You break it down all the time. How is the game different than five, ten, fifteen years ago? I mean, I, it sounds like a broad question, but yeah. Focus on going forward. Well, obviously, and, and you know the three-point shot and and uh, the shot clock. You know the thing. The thing. You know, I'm, I'm my background is motion offense with a lot of cuts, a lot of screens. You know the old Bobby Knight four passes before you get a shot. You know those things are very seldom talked about in today's game. You know it's it's a faster paced game, a more free flowing game. You don't see guys posting ceiling. You know, inside for angles, you know, most of those guys, you know, and, and we're going to have a guy in the mirror that can step out and shoot threes. You know, when I when I was playing, you didn't have a lot. I mean, I know at Indiana, if a big guy stepped out and shot it, you probably. Uh, but but probably that. And then more more off the dribble, you know, just playing off the dribble more. And uh, that that those are the things that I think, you know, I see. I see they're different. How much do you think the movement of the three-point line will, will affect the game? And obviously you guys have gotten a little bit of a head start with that with both the NIT and playing in Naples. 
I think it'll affect it. I, I really do. I, I, you know, I think you'll see a lot of guys on it, stepping on it. You know, when you get in the corners there, you don't have a lot of space. Yeah, you know, it's stepping out of bounds. Uh, but uh, I, w- I it'd be interesting. I, I think the percentages will probably be down just a little bit. But uh, you know, the teams that are committed to shooting them are, are going to be committed to shooting them. You know, and and I I think we have a team. I think we've got. Uh, you know, a lot of versatility. There are guys that can step out. I think, I think, uh, you know, you'll see us uh, take and make some three-point shots. Coach, when you come in and you look at the Tigers roster, what did they, they brought in from last year? And not excluding the transfers, what do you look at from last year's team? Like a guy like what is your spot uh, analysis, somebody like that guy? Yeah, he's growing. Obviously, I think the, the, the World University games just, I mean, he's as confident as I've ever seen him. I mean, he's doing a great job with leadership. Um, but I, I personally, I mean, having a guy with his size and his skill set that's able to, to step out on the floor not only creates mismatches, you know, for, for shooting a three, but he also has the ability to, to beat you off the dribble and can create some opportunities for, for, for his teammates. Uh, John Newman, you know, a guy that, that you know, we Marquise was, was a heck of a player, and I think he learned a lot just with not only how he played but how he prepared for practice and, again, to see his – game really step up and confidence is such a huge thing in in being successful in this game and I think those guys going over there and and not only winning the gold gold medal as a unit but having some individual success I think has really helped them.